Most people agree without actually thinking about it that uh, rich people should be taxed more. We all agree on this, but we're never sure what we're talking about. Are we talking about the assets they have, the money they have, the income? It's always very confusing. Uh, there's a little poem which I learned ages ago, which helps explain how cash money works and what it does. It says that money talks, I won't deny. I heard it once. It said, goodbye. It's only usually valuable to you until you part when you pass it on to someone else. Unless, of course, you're a philanthropist, in which case you give it away. And then people give you back things which you otherwise couldn't buy, like goodwill. So let's explore money and how it actually works as a promissory note. I'm going to use the story of the German hiker, which I learned from uh, chief executive, uh, chief executive, uh, chief advisor of uh, the World Bank. It's slightly risque, so if you don't like those bits, it's not my fault. Okay, so uh, share my screen and then I can take you through it. So the story is very simple. Basically, uh, there's a German hiker and he's out in the lovely Swiss Alps. Okay, I'll try and make these Swiss Alpish bits uh, look. That this, those were supposed to be snow on the top of the mountain. And I'll give you some birds as well, just for fun, okay? So here's our Swiss hiker, and he's been hiking all day, carrying his heavy bags um, and trying to make progress. That's his stick, which he's using. Uh, and he spies in the distance, basically, a lovely little chalet. And he thinks to himself, oh, that would be a lovely chalet for me to spend the night in, okay? So he walks up to the chalet, and he thinks, I want a really good room. So he says to the um, chalet host, the hotelier, he says, look, here you go. I will give you a hundred euro notes, whatever it is, um, if you will make sure I get the best view out of this lovely chalet. He says, I can't do that. The place is half full. He says, look, it's a hundred euros. If you'll kick out the right person and I'll have, find somewhere I won't sleep, you can keep it. And so he says reluctantly, oh, okay. So the hiker sets off to walk around this lovely hotel. Meanwhile, the hotelier realizes this is a wonderful opportunity. He's got an extra 100 quid because he remembers he owes 100 pounds to 100 euros, whatever it is, to the butcher uh, who basically uh, brought the meat for last night's meal and hasn't been paid. So he rushes to the butcher and he says, here's the 100 pounds I owe you, 100 euros I owe you. The butcher says, thank you, thank you, thank you. So the butcher then realizes that actually he forgot to pay the gentleman farmer or the bachelor farmer uh, for the, the cow and the meat which he, he's actually brought him. So he rushes to the bachelor farm and he says, here's the 100 euros I owe you, okay? And he says, thank you, thank you, thank you. And the, the, the bachelor farmer remembers that the last time he met his girlfriend at the hotel, um, he didn't actually pay up. So he rushes to this girlfriend, quotes, um, and he says to her, this is the dark economy, the bit which is not normally taxed. He says, here's the 100 pounds I owe you. And she says, thank you very much. And then she remembers that she forgot to pay the hotelier for use of his uh, hotel last time she uh, met with the bachelor farmer. So she rushes back to the hotelier and says, look, here's the 100 euros I owe you. And he says, thank you. At which point the, the hiker storms out of the, the building and says, there are no lovely views from your hotel. Snatches back his 100 euro note and walks off. Stop and think about it. All the debts have been repaid, and yet no money has been spent. How did that happen? You understand this, you begin to understand things like quantities of easing, you begin to understand things like the velocity of money. But until you understood the way this works, it's even difficult to understand how taxation might work. And I'm going to stop at that point because this story is again central to what's happening in our current economy as it starts to reform itself into something you probably wouldn't like. So um, that's the end of my story, and I'll stop there. <laughs> Thank you very much.